The book is currently titled Students of the World, Decolonization and the Global 1960s in the Congo. Uh, it will be published uh, in spring of next year uh, by Duke University Press. Um, and the main intervention of the book is to replace the Congo within the global 1960s and to show that students in Kinshasa were uh, as much of uh, a political force in their country that uh, uh, st that students in uh, places like Berlin or Paris or uh, Mexico or Rio. Um, in the case of the Congo, as uh, in these other cases, uh, students were uh, 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 particularly uh, attached to internationalism and um, they developed connections, uh, sometimes real connections, sometimes imagined connections with um, distant ideas, distant peoples, distant struggles. And these connections deeply shaped their uh, understanding of, of politics in their own country. Um, another intervention of the book is to uh, revisit the history of decolonization in the Congo. Um, and something that I uh, spend quite a lot of time doing in the book is uh, looking at the impact of the Congo crisis of the early 1960s um, and of the early years of the Mobutu dictatorship starting in 1965 in the process of uh, uh, nation building um, uh, in the Congo and, and how students were uh, at the core of uh, this process through the decade. Yes, so Lumumba indeed had a major uh, impact, uh, influence on students through the 1960s. Um, but what's very striking is that um, uh, um, it was not the case uh, before his assassination. So his assassination was this, the major pivot that uh, changed uh, um, uh, the orientation of student politics. So in the Belgian Congo, uh, the colonizers were very strongly opposed to uh, higher education and when they um, finally decided to open a first university for the colonized in the mid-1950s, they did that by, um, with the idea that uh, higher, um, higher education and university students would be a force of support for the colonial project. And actually, uh, the first few cohorts of uh, students, Congolese students, were indeed rather uh, conservative. Um, and many of them were critical of uh, radical anti-colonial politicians like Lumumba. Uh, actually, when, when um, Lumumba was overthrown from office in September 1960, his government was replaced uh, by a team a governmental team made exclusively of uh, university students and recent graduates. And so these students uh, were in charge of the government when uh, Lumumba was uh, sent to jail and then was uh, transferred to Katanga, uh, uh, where he was assassinated in January 1961. And then that, that, that event actually uh, it's in itself transformed student politics. Um, um, especially younger students, the new generation of, of, of students. Um, something that was uh, transformative uh, uh, through the assassination of Lumumba was their uh, vision of neo-colonialism that uh, um, seemed suddenly much more uh, concrete and, uh, um, and also something else I think that uh, was really important in that moment was the fact that uh, Lumumba um, the fate of Lumumba um, uh, created this uh, global reaction, uh, global emotional reaction. People around the world organized protests, demonstrations, uh, when the news of the, the assassination became public. And uh, these global uh, reverberations matter very much for Congolese students. And so the, in the months and years that followed the assassination, the students and the student movement clearly took a, a direction towards the left. Um, and um, the, 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 the association to uh, the figure of Lumumba for students in those years uh, was uh, key in um, helping them to connect with uh, 
um, uh, people around the world uh, were also um, um, uh, interested in the figure of Lumumba. And so uh, very much while the first you know, students initially had been rather conservative, after uh, Lumumba's assassination, they, they became this uh, central force in uh, Congolese nationalism. Well, so the Catholic Church was uh, very much the dominant, uh, uh, the dominant force uh, in um, education uh, during the colonial period in the Congo. Um, and uh, the, that actually uh, remained very much the case after independence. So the, the crisis of, uh, of decolonization in the early 60s meant that uh, state ca capabilities were very much diminished in the early 60s. Uh, by contrast, the church uh, was able to maintain its network, its structure, its resources, including in education. So uh, the, the dominance of uh, Catholic education was uh, 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 further increased after independence. So, um, so most students had been trained in uh, Catholic seminaries or in Catholic uh, elite uh, uh, boarding schools. Um, the main university, uh, which was uh, based in, outside of Kinshasa, uh, Lovanium University, was a Catholic institution. Um, so students had been trained, uh, 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 were trained uh, uh, within the, the, the world of Catholic education. Uh, there were debates uh, uh, among Catholic intellectuals about uh, 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 decolonizing the church, decoli decolonizing uh, Catholic uh, liturgy that um, percolated to, to a certain degree uh, to the students and that informed how students um, uh, looked at the question of cultural uh, nationalism, for instance. Um, but uh, for many students, um, uh, Catholicism was, uh, or many students still see, uh, saw Catholicism as um, a conservative force. Uh, they associated the church with uh, colonialism after independence, they continue to do so. Um, and they, 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 they saw themselves very much as uh, antagonists to, to the church. Many of them actually embraced uh, forms of socialism, Marxism, um, and um, um, on campuses there was these, 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 uh, uh, these clear tensions uh, among student activists and uh, the clerics were ruling over um, or managing this, uh, uh, the, the Congolese universities and, 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 uh, and schools. Um, what's Interesting, however, is to see that this, the same generation, so people who were student activists uh, in the 1960s, later on, many of them returned uh, to the church, um, particularly at the end of the 1980s and early 1990s. They associated uh, themselves with the church and they used the church um, uh, the, uh, during the, the struggle for uh, democratization to try to uh, and the Mobutu dictatorship in the uh, early uh, 1990s. So uh, you have this contrast between the 60s um, as a, a period of tension between uh, a student activist and, uh, and the church and uh, the same people uh, 20, 30 years later uh, will try to, to work with uh, uh, the church uh, um, as part of the, the political struggle and so that, that kind of uh, um, transition, contrast, is one of the questions that I'm actually uh, looking, uh, looking at now in my uh, new research project. Thank you, Pedro. <laughs> we, it was a pleasure having you at Sarah. Thank you very much. <laughs>